Hello everyone, this is Ranjit, your maths teacher. Once again, I welcome you all. And today you can see I have written on board few questions, few NCQ here. And it means that surely I'm going to discuss these five questions today and after the discussion. Uh, what I want you try to find out few questions rel related to the concept which I am going to give you today uh, on these MCQ and uh, these questions of course are related to uh, your PT1 so I want that you all see the full video and uh, try to know what and how we'll do this okay so here I start with question number one in this you can see which is which of the following is slash r rational numbers means it's very very simple it is exactly uh, related to the definition or introduction class of rational numbers and from there only we can get the idea uh, about which one is a rational number or uh, i mean all are there if so we'll mention it in the uh, options okay so 5 by 3 uh, the definition says that if I uh, explain it here this side definition says that the p by q form should be there just for saying or recognizing which one is a rational number so p by q form 5 by 3 it is there and this q naught should be equals to 0 so means what 5 by 3 you can see this is the form of p by q but this denominator is not equals to 0 means uh, the definition one number is satisfying the uh, satisfying uh, I mean uh, rational numbers okay now next one is it is a rational number yes or no that we'll try to find out uh, if I simple number take 0.92 and I tell you to uh, write it in the form of PYQ easily we can do it we'll remove the decimal and we'll put here one and after that two digits are there that is by two zeros so means 92 by 100 we can write for this 0.92 in the same way uh, this is 0.9336522 we can convert easily into the form of PYQ and that is why this also will be a rational number. Now uh, minus 6 is there third number option minus 6 of course this is a rational number because once again you can write it in the form of PYQ it will become minus 6 by 1 and this denominator is not equal to 0 means what? option number one two and three all three are rational numbers and that is why only one no only one and two no only one and three no all one two and three means this is only the correct option now second one which of the following is equal to three by five divided by under bracket one by two divided by five by six and in option you can see option number a it is 3 by 5 divided by 1 by 2 divided by 5 by 6 first of all i'm writing this 3 by 5 divided by 1 by 2 divided by 5 by 6 i'm keeping inside the bracket and if i consider this option number a is equal so writing it here equal 3 by 5 this divided by 1 by 2 divided by 5 by 6 I think properties of rational number that we have explained it in a very very uh, easiest way so you all have remembered and if you are not knowing so you can see the previous videos it is already mentioned there uh, if I write like this what is here in LHS 3 by 5 Right. In RHS also 3 by 5, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 5 by 6, 5 by 6. Means in the both the side, same numbers are there, same rational numbers are there, only what is different there. So in LHS you can see the order, okay, and in RHS you can see the order, okay. So what is this? This is trying to, oh, uh, trying to represent, trying to uh, make an order of associative okay so there is no such associative property over div division it will not satisfy 
means this one and this one will be not equals to each other if you want to uh, verify it so what you will do in lhs you try to find out the result we all know how to divide first of all you will have to do the bracket work for bracket so this is division sign we will change it into product sign like one i do for you division 1 by 2 this is division so change it into product it will be 6 by 5 and let's check it this side also 3 by 5 into 1 by 2 no it will be 2 by 1 divided by 5 by 6 now 3 by 5 when you'll do it will be 2 3 ja, so means coming 3 by 5 inside and now when you will change it into product it will be 5 by 3 equals to this side 3 by 5 3 to just 6 it will become divided by 5 by 6 now 6 by 5 into uh, 6 by 5 so this side you can see it will be cut will come only one and this side you can see it is 6 6 is 36 by 25 so both are not equal to each other and uh, as i told you it uh, does not satisfy associative property over uh, uh, division so that is why uh, this a number option is wrong now this is showing the distribution so distributive property over division is also uh, not true okay so that is why this also will be wrong next one we have seen here the calculation it is giving only one so this c is true and this last one is also true uh, sorry wrong because if i change the division sign into product we write the reciprocal of it so which is not done here so it is completely d number is completely wrong so means our correct option is one only this is c understood now now i have the next one and that is the easiest one you can see it is asked in this how many rational numbers are in between four and six so we all know uh, there are many uh, existing rational numbers are in between any of the two numbers okay so that is why one no that is not true two num a, b is two that is also not true c is three that is also not true and only d is the correct option now for number which of the following rational numbers lie in between minus 4 by 7 and minus 2 by 3 so you will try to find out with the process only and process already i have explained but still in this video i'll try to explain it one more time uh, written there minus 2 by 3 between these two we just have to identify whether these options means 3 are given uh, these options or all or any one is uh, existing between these two rational numbers or not so minus 4 by 7 and minus 2 by 3 uh, is there what you will do my suggestion is there you simply convert it into decimal form it will become really very easy or another option is there uh, you will uh, try to find out like uh, uh, you will find out the LCM of 7 and 3 it will be 21 only LCM of 7 and 3 is 21 means you will try to make this denominator same and after that you will uh, try to know whether minus 13 by 21 is existing in between or not okay so uh, lcm is 21 so minus 4 by 7 is there this denominator i'll try to make it 21 will think about a number by which will multiply and it will become uh, 21 that is only 3 so we'll multiply 3 not only with the denominator we'll have to multiply with the numerator also so it will be 4 3 12 it will be minus 12 and 21 now 
the next one is minus 2 by 3 so once again we'll think about a number by which will multiply and the denominator became 21 so here only 7 so 7 will multiply not only in denominator will have to multiply in numerator also so it is going to be uh, minus 14 by uh, 21 so we have minus 12 by 21 and another one is uh, 2 uh, minus 14 by 21 now you can see first one is minus 13 by 21 so it is uh, easy to understand uh, minus 13 by 21 will exist between these two uh, means uh, this uh, is of course a rational number which is going to be between these two now we'll think about the rest of the uh, options also that is minus 3 by 7 so minus 3 by 7 you try to make this denominator only 21 and for this you will multiply it by 3 and it will become minus 9 by 21 now you think about it minus 9 by 21 is not uh, going to exist between minus 14 by 21 and minus 14 by no, minus 12 by 21 and minus 14 by 21 so this is completely wrong this is not going to exist between these two now next one we have minus 27 by 4 to triple zero so what you'll do once again this 4 to triple zero you will try to make it 21 only and how you will do going to explain it you just see minus 21 by 4 to triple zero it is uh, what you will have to do you just uh, divide it uh, divide it by I think uh, 3 no uh, first of all 1000 when you will divide it by 1000 it will become what uh, 4 to and you have only this so if you divide it by 2000 uh, it will become 21 only so in the same way you divide the numerator also by 2000 so what you will get now minus 21 by 2000 by uh, 21 you can see triple zero will be cut and this is going to be 21 so this is now coming minus 21 by 2000 it is easy to understand will come in decimal and here it is minus 12 and minus 14 so it is also not going to exist between minus 12 and minus 14 although you can see it is uh, it will be in decimal only and uh, it will be around 0 point something okay so this also is not possible not going to exist between these two and that is why only which one is the correct only one is the correct option so in this way you can do it okay now going to do the next one which one uh, which is uh, fifth number we will try to understand how we can do these type of questions if we get in MCQ so you can see uh, first of all I try to I make that diagram only A and in between 1 2 3 are there and in the last B is written here and here it is written X now I draw the same line and this time a and in the last you can see b also uh, and it is divided into one two three four five are there so one two three four five one two three four five and last one is b only if i consider a and b means the distance between a and b is unit length is unit only so you can see what this unit length is divided into 
वन टू थ्री मीन्स वन टू थ्री फोर फोर पार्ट इज देयर सो ईच ऑफ दार्ट विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन बाई फोर फाइन and this one is also 1 by 4 in the same way here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this unit length is here divided into six parts so each of the part will be 1 by 6 fine and this one is also 1 by 6 now this y is mentioned here so this is 1 by 6 and this is 2 by 6 fine in the same way this x is mentioned here so it is what you can see 1 2 3 4 4 parts are there 1 2 3 4 parts are there so this is going to be 2 by 4 now you simply have to determine which one is uh, first of all you try to find out whether these two are equal or not because one number option is there given x is equals to y so we'll check it now 2 by 4 and 2 by 6 okay so you here you can see 6 to the 12 this is only what this is for x and this is for y so 6 to the 12 and 4 to the 8 so easily you can see x is greater than y so which one is going to be correct you can see here this is wrong x is lesser than y that is wrong and here x is greater than y so this c number option is only correct and this d number can't say since a and b are unknown it is exactly wrong so only uh, this is c number is the correct option so here i have seen uh, five different questions uh, exactly brain teasing questions are there these multiple choice questions so i hope you all understood that how we face uh, different questions based on F mcq uh, you will have to exactly think uh, think uh, differently and you will save your time and will be able to do that questions in a very lesser time it is very important because subjective questions you also get in uh, different exams along with this mcq so uh, till then i think you all understood this i hope you all will uh, try to solve few questions related to mcq and uh, you all are safe there at home thank you have a nice day